overdubbing. I'm here talking to um, Derek, Kim, Jean Yang, and Thin Fam, um, three amazing comic book artists, writers, etc. <laughs> amazing is a good adjective. And um, tell me about the award that you guys just got. Oh, best Asians of all times? Yeah. We did not get best Asians. All three of us got best Asians of all times. <laughs> I had nothing to do with this. We represent Korea, China, and Vietnam. I'm strong. <laughs> best Asians of all times. <laughs> this is a, this is a, uh, it's a, it's an honor award for the best the Asian of all times. Asian Pacific American Librarians Association. For what? For so what? it's an honor because we weren't the winners. Gee, that tell them, came in second. Tell, tell them who we won. Who won? Uh, her name was Holly Thompson. She, she wrote a book Jean? called. She wrote a book called Orchids, I think. Yeah, was she Asian? She's, you know, you know, she's ethnically white, but she has lived in Asia for longer than either of us have. How could she? Be I've Asian? lived in Asia for zero years. She lived in Asia for like four. I, and this lady lived in Asia for like 20 years. So I, I think it counts too. Does it? I don't know. Best Asians of all time. Excellent. Congratulations. And um, Thank you. so you guys, um, you guys all knew each other starting out. How is it that you all got to be such amazing superstars? What, superstars is a very to what do you credit your astronomical success? <laughs> you realize we're in comics, right? We're not in film or television. But tell me about you guys starting know, out. I think, I think really the, um, um, uh, us being friends is what really made us uh, be awesome. Because, um, I mean, the whole thing with publishing is that Derek got his book deal first after he won the Z Zerk for the same difference. And he was well, pimping Gene. I, I got Gene yeah, into his first second event. Gene got to his Yeah, and yeah, Gene's hit yeah, me. Yeah. So really, we're all riding on Derek's Yeah, head. so like, uh, uh, Derek <laughs> is the uh, <laughs> thing, and we're just like hanging on. Yeah. With their, like, yeah. <laughs> awesome. And um, what what books are you here to talk to librarians about? Which of your books? Uh, talk to say uh, about same difference, which is this one. But you have a one too. Yeah, but and, and also I have a new book coming out in November called Two, and um, T U N E, not T O N. And um, it's about an art school dropout uh, who can't find a job, and he decides to take. Oh yeah, thank you. Uh, it's this book right here, and uh, you can see the cover. No, oh, that's not the cover. The mock-up cover right here. <laughs> awesome. And, um, yeah, it's about an art school dropout who can't find a job, and he, and he gets roped into into a, uh, being an exhibit in a zoo in an alternate dimension where uh, art doesn't exist. So he's yeah, more insignificant in that world than he is in our world. And, awesome. Uh, yeah, it's about And how about you, Gene? Uh, I'm here to promote a. Uh, I'm uh, writing a graphic novel continuation of this very popular Nickelodeon series called uh, Avatar: The Last Airbender. So the the graphic novel is actually pick up right where the cartoon ended. The cartoon uh, ended in, in 2008, and I'm only writing it. It's being drawn by these two ladies in uh, who live in Japan. They run an art studio called Glory Hero. Uh, and, and we're working really closely with the creators of the original series to, to bring comics that fit into that world. Awesome. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm actually, well, I'm here to promote Sumo, <laughs> which is a book that's coming out in December. Um, and, uh, but really what we're here for is uh, we, we, we uh, sold uh, this book called Level Up that me and Gene actually worked on together. We're selling that because uh, to fund our uh, being here, to fund lunch and stuff like that. <laughs> but uh, really what we're advertising is Sumo. Yeah. And, and how, is, how is selling Level Up working for you? Well, it worked. Uh, it's so been great. The only problem is, here. here's the problem. Uh, the problem is already? that, that, um, that Tin brought a little credit card machine that attaches to his iPhone that funnels directly to his account. So even though I purchased the books, all the money that we're making off of these books are going into his account. Yeah. I'll pay you back, dude. Yeah, sure you will. I'll believe it when I see it. <laughs> and is this your guys' first time working, um, like being at a, con at a conference like this, um, directly with just librarians? Yes, this it's, is our first librarian. Yeah, for me. First for me. Yeah. Is it first for you? Yeah. Well, so I've been to ALA before for events, but I've never been there to table. I've never been here to table. Too. Cool, and how are you finding the, the conference so far? What, what kind of reception are you getting? This is the best. I mean, it, it's to, to be in a conference where all the library, like the, the people that come up to you know your stuff, and they've done book talks with about you, and they and they're just like enthusiastic and nice and sweet and smart. 
is amazing because amazing. that's so different from a comic show where none of that. Happens, <laughs> and I also, I also think like it, at, a, at a regular comic book convention, most of the people that you talk to came into comics through superheroes. So, so there's definitely a bias towards that genre, even though even though it's changing. There's definitely a bias towards that genre. Whereas here, I think most of the librarians actually come in through comics like ours. They come in through graphic novels. Yeah. And it's some like good-looking librarians. <laughs> You want to? We can ride over here. Yeah, you want to give out your number just in case anybody. Okay. And um, do you guys have any any books that um, were not written by you that you would like to pimp to the librarian audience today? Uh, yes, American born Chinese. <laughs> yes, I don't have I don't have any books that are not written Rain, by me. Raina, Raina, uh, I always talk wrong. Telgemeier, Raina Telgemeier stuff is amazing. All right. I, I haven't read drama yet, but I'm sure it's gonna be awesome. I'm sure it's gonna be awesome. So uh, and then uh, and then her husband Dave Roman did a book called Teen Boat, which is also amazing. I read it. When it was in minis. It, it started off as an homage to uh, this old 80s cartoon called, uh, called Turbo Team. Turbo Team. Turbo Team. That's right. But I think it grew into something more. I think it's actually deeper than just being a, a parody now. Cool. The only the only buddy that's a better cartoonist than I am is my wife, and uh, she does a book called Long Tail Kitty. And uh, Brave Mr. Elephant, which is also amazing. But no one else that. And Stan Sakai, who saw you Jimbo. What about, is, uh, what about our publisher, Mark Siegel? If you don't bring him up, he might not publish it. <laughs> yeah, Mark Same with Twain. <laughs> yeah, Mark Siegel looks amazing. amazing. Yeah. You know, cool. I didn't think it was going to be good until I looked at the sample pages. There were some boobs in there. It's really, really, uh, very voluminous. <laughs> you know, Can I get out of this interview? <laughs>